This video is sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc. With free weekly content and free shipping over $100, you can save 5% site wide by using the promo code MTGMUDSTA. I'm also sponsored by Face to Face Games, Canada's premier Magic the Gathering store. Using the promo code MTGMUDSTA will get you 5% off site wide, with eligible orders getting free shipping Canada wide. If you're looking for a direct way to help the channel, please consider joining my Patreon and becoming a member of the generic Goblin Gang. Hey gang and welcome back. Today's Modern with Mudsta features two sweet archetypes with Sam playing his Goblins deck. You probably saw this deck last week when he played against my Dredge one. It's Rakdos in colors and will either try and overrun people with Goblins or combo off using a Conspicuous Snoop, Kiki Jiki, and Mog Fanatic as a combo. Arja is playing his Hammer Time deck, which typically has Azoria's colors in it. He's trying to cast a ton of artifacts to enable Metalcraft or Sigarda's aid so he can cast a Colossus Hammer and attach it to an Ink Moth Nexus or another creature and beat face. Game 1, Sam wins the die roll and is on the play. He keeps his first 7, while Arja Mulligan's down to 6. Sam plays a Mountain and then pays 1 for an Aether Vial. Arja plays a Plains and casts Esper Sentinel. Sam puts a counter on his vial during his upkeep and draws. He plays a Prismatic Vista, losing one to find a mountain. Two red then get him a Conspicuous Snoop, and he reveals Mog Fanatic off the top after he finishes shuffling. Arja draws and plays an Ink Moth Nexus. One white gets him a cigar to his aid, and he goes to combat. He swings a sentinel at Sam, who takes the bait and blocks the snoop. Arja uses this as an excuse to flash out a Colossus Hammer. Sam responds to the attached trigger, sacrificing the snoop to Mog Fanatic's ability, and pings the sentinel for one, taking it out. Sam ticks up the vial on his upkeep, and then draws a fanatic. He taps one red for it, and passes after that. Arja has an Urza Saga as his land for turn, and puts a counter onto it. He then pays 0 for an Ornithopter, and passes. During his end step, Sam uses the Vial to put out a Runevelt Horde Master. Sam untaps, and goes to 3 on the Vial. He draws for turn, and then taps the Vial to put out a Goblin Matron. He finds another Snoop, and puts it to hand, and then casts it. He reveals a mountain off the top, and ships the turn after that. Arja draws, and upticks the Saga in his main phase. He casts a Paradise Mantle, putting it onto his Ornithopter as it comes in. He taps the Flyer for a blue, and the Saga to flash out a reality chip. Since it's also an equipment, he gets to equip it onto the Ornithopter. He then looks at his top card, and casts another Ornithopter off the top for free. He then pays one white to cast an Esper Sentinel off the top, and follows that up with a Hollowed Fountain off the top. He takes two so it'll come in untapped. Arja keeps the top train going with a Springleaf Drum, and passes after that. Sam keeps his vial at 3 and draws return. He has a Bogart Harbinger on top, and seeing this, sacrifices the Mog Fanatic to deal 1 to the Sentinel. This has the Horde Master XL in the Harbinger, and reveals another Matron. Sam then plays a Mountain, and casts the Goblin Matron off the top thanks to the Snoop. He finds another Harbinger, and then uses the vial to put it out into the battlefield. This lets him tutor for a Kiki Jiki, which he puts on top of his library. He can then combo off with the Snoop, making infinite copies of the Snoop, and once he feels he has enough, the last Snoop will make a copy of the Harbinger. This puts a Fanatic on top, and Sam can then sacrifice all of his Snoop tokens to take out Arja. They move to sideboard at this point, and Arja takes out two Springleaf Drums, three Mem Knights, and two copies of Esper Sentinel. He brings in two Prismatic Endings, two Hushbringers, Pythene Needle, and two copies of Blacksmith Skills. 
Sam also makes some cuts with Pashalix Mons, the new Squee, and a Goblin Matron going out, and he brings in two copies of a Braid and one Goblin Trashmaster. Arch is on the play for game two. Arja keeps his opening seven, while Sam mulligans down to six. Arja plays a Marsh Flats and cracks it for a Hollowed Fountain, taking the full three so he can play a Giver of Ruins. Sam has a Cavern of Souls coming in, naming Goblins. He then drops a Mog Fanatic, passing. Arja plays an Ink Moth Nexus for turn and taps two for a Hushbringer. Sam just plays a Scalding Tarn. Arja has a Plains and pays two for a Ledger Shredder. He plays Sir Garda's Aid, which triggers the Shredder. He gets to connive and discards an Ink Moth Nexus. Moving to combat, the Hushbringer heads at Sam, dealing one and gaining Arja one. Sam then cracks his Scalding Tarn at the end of turn to find a tap Blood Crypt. Sam draws and plays a Mountain. He casts a Bogart Harbinger, which does nothing as it enters the battlefield because of the Hushbringer. Arja has a tap Synchro and Coast for turn and then plays out a Pure Steel Paladin. He goes to combat, hitting Sam with the Shredder and the Hushbringer, dealing two and gaining one. Sam has a Mountain for turn and pays four for a Goblin Trashmaster, passing after that. Arja has another Plains as his land drop and taps it for one white to animate the Ink Moth Nexus. He goes to combat, swinging the Nexus, Shredder, and Hushbringer at Sam. Sam sacrifices the Harbinger to the Trashmaster's ability and blows up the Ink Moth. He then takes two while Arja gains one, and Arja passes. Sam's turn has him playing a conspicuous snoop in his main phase, and he reveals a mountain off the top. Thankfully, he has a Bloodstained Mire which he can play and sacrifice, going to find a mountain and shuffling up. Once he's done shuffling, he reveals a Mog War Marshal off the top. He casts that, and then reveals his top card, another Blood Crypt, passing. Arja untaps and draws. He goes to combat, chipping away for another two and gaining one and passing. On Sam's upkeep, he pays the echo cost for the Mog War Marshal and keeps it around. He then draws his Blood Crypt off the top and reveals another Mog War Marshal, which he then casts, revealing yet another Blood Crypt. Sam then plays the Blood Crypt which he drawn and has it come in tapped and passes. Arja draws and casts a Stoneforge Mystic in his main phase, which doesn't find him anything because of the Hushbringer, and he then drops an Ornithopter. This gets him a Shredder trigger, and he discards a Windswept Heath. Arja then plays a Pythian Needle, which has Sam responding by sacrificing the new Mog War Marshal to the Goblin Trashmaster ability and takes out the Ornithopter. The Needle then comes in, and Arja names Goblin Trashmaster. Moving to combat, Arja chips away another 2 life and gains 1 back. Sam draws and reveals a mountain. He taps 3 mana for a Goblin Matron, passing. Arja draws and attacks for 2 again, gaining 1 and passing. Sam draws the mountain and reveals an Aether Vial. He looks at his life total and all the hate pieces from Arch's board and decides his time is better spent by moving to game 3. Both of them decide to keep the same sideboard cards and just move to game 3 after a good shuffle. Sam is on the play for game 3 and he keeps his opening 7 while Arch mulligans down to 6. Sam drops a mountain for turn and pays 1 red for a Skirk Prospector. Archa draws and plays an Urza Saga. He puts a counter onto it and then casts two Ornithopters and passes. Sam has a Cavern of Souls coming in for his land drop, naming Goblins, and taps two red for Conspicuous Snoop. Archa draws for turn and adds another counter to his Urza Saga in the main phase. He plays an Ink Moth Nexus and passes. 
Sam's got a scalding tarn for turn, cracking it and shuffling away a goblin ringleader. He puts out a mountain from his library, and then reveals a mountain on top which Arja is very happy about. Arja is less happy when Sam then pays 3 for Bogart Herbinger, which will let him find his Kiki Jiki to put on top. This will let him combo off like he did in game 1, and he wins the match 2-1. Game review time. That was three very interesting and very different games. The first game was kind of what I expected, and Sam seemed to have a lot of answers to what Arja was trying to do. I think my favorite point of that game was when Sam sacrificed the conspicuous Snoop to take out the Esper Sentinel and deny Arja the attach trigger for the Colossus Hammer onto it. Game 2, the table seemed to be flipped, with Arja having better hate pieces early on. That turn 2 Hushbringer really, really shut down a lot of Sam's cards, and that Mog War Marshal basically did nothing for 2 mana. I know that Ledger Shredder has been making waves in Modern quite a bit, and I'm surprised that Arja wasn't discarding non-land cards to help pump it up and close out the game faster. Game 3 was just a blitz of speed in terms of Sam's goblin deck going off. It was pretty incredible to see how very little setup he needed in order to win on turn 3. This video wouldn't be possible without the help from my sponsors, Cool Stuff Inc., Multizone, Original Magic Art, and Alter Sleeves. But it definitely wouldn't be possible without the help from you, the viewers, and my patrons. So I just want to say thank you for watching, and to remember, friends are just opponents you haven't eliminated yet.